Hello everyone. I want to share my seed haul and if I had if it's not too long I'll share uh what tomato um varieties that I've planted already. Um I have <clears throat> I purchased from uh, Baker Creek and my gardener, Botanical Interests, Renee's Garden, Hoss Tools. And I think that's it for right now. Um, I, some of them I've already planted and some of them I saved. Well, not saved, but didn't get to yet. So, from Baker Creek, I have um, Pippin's Golden Honey Pepper, and they're they're not in any kind of order. Um, I have Melon Mango or Vine Peach. Yeah, Mango. Early Jersey Wakefield, cabbage, uh, cucumber, I heard a noise, I don't know what that is, but you might be able to hear the chicks in the background. Um, this is a long white zucchini squash. Early, early fortune cucumber. Uh, this is a melon, rich sweetness, 132. I don't know how to say this pepper, but they're supposed to be really hot. I have no idea what is going on, but uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is a purple pepper. You can pronounce that for me. <laughs> uh, Another type of a pepper, I think some, I've heard it called Lisa or, or Lysia. Uh, not a pino, not a pino, um, yeah, not a pino pepper. This is just the one that's not hot, so I, I can't take the hot peppers. Um, and this is a habanada without the heat. Um, I have a 15-year-old cave bean that I'm going to try. I mean, 1,500. Um, this was the free, one of the free seed packets. And the little bok choy. And then, that's some of them from uh, Baker Creek. The others are tomatoes that I haven't, that, I'm, that I'll share later. From M.I. Gardner, I have the Mammoth Red Rock Cabbage, Midnight Black Turtle Bean, Yellow Eyed Bean, Mayflower. This variety was named after the journey on the Mayflower bringing the British to the States. And this is Pak Choi, which it's supposed to be the same as Pak Choi. I've never had either one, but they're, they're both new to me. I'm going to try them. Um, I'm going to try the lemon cucumber one more time. They did not 
do very well last year, but I'll, I'll try them again. Uh, I'm going to try a White Wonder Cucumber. Never tried those. Uh, this is called Culantro. Um, it has a stronger taste than its cilantro uh, flavor than its cousin. Okay, I, I got the canary melon, um, canary yellow melon. I believe this is the kind that um, Homestead Heart uh, said that she really enjoys, so I decided I'll, I'll try that because it sounded really good. Mammoth basil, I plan on uh, using these as like a, I'm gonna try it as to wrap up like how they, uh, like a lettuce leaf uh, sandwich that I usually love in the summertime. So I'm gonna try to use the basil this time and see how that tastes. Um, I got a red onion. I'm not even gonna say that because I've heard it said so many different ways, I don't know which one is right. Um, arugula. I got uh, champion collards. Rainbow Swiss chard. Ruby Swiss chard. Uh, Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach, the Big Jim Pepper, and the Jimmy Nardello. I got a Sunbright Pepper, a Large Red Cherry Pepper. I know some of these are hot and I can't take the hot, but I do like to put the hot ones in like a whole in, a whole pot of uh, spaghetti sauce or soups and it, it's, it's not as hot as eating the pepper. Uh, it's spite, it makes it really flavorful. I like it without the terribly, terrible heat. So this is the uh, cayenne pepper, uh, purple, the shishito, and the giant Marconi pepper. Uh, I did uh, spill coffee because my cat tripped me. <laughs> so this one's open because I had to open it, but it's a scarlet runner bean. Here's the other one that got the coffee damage, which is Jacob's Cattle Bean. Uh, spinach, more spinach. Pinto Bean. Uh, calendula. I have some of these started, but not, the, not this particular one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, mulatto, something pepper. Uh, Luke from MI Gardener was explaining how much he loves these, among a lot of others that I ended up getting. Um, the coral bell pepper. So I should have. Red, orange, yellow, and green bell peppers. I love the bell peppers. Um, my leeks. And Luke was also talking a lot about um, honey nut squash. So I want to try that. And it's the honey nut, not butternut. And he said it's very, very sweet. 
and then another one um, is the North Georgia Candy Roaster Squash. And it, to me, in the picture, they look like they're the size of maybe a sweet potato or... And then I, I read the back when I got it, and it says that they can uh, get 10 to 15 pounds. So that, that's probably pretty big. And I got goji berries. These won't be mature for three years, it says. And that's the MI Gardener. Uh, besides just besides the tomatoes that I haven't shown yet. So botanical interest, I got um, winter egg corn squash. I got romaine lettuce, Paris Island. It's, I believe it's not supposed to bolt as quickly. Um, cauliflower. I had, I must have gotten a different shishito pepper. Kentucky Wonder, green beans, and uh, Renee's Garden. I got uh, Italian scallions, sweet Armenian, cucumber, Amsterdam's celery, heirloom garlic chives, culinary chives, yeah. Paprika, Hungarian. Uh, Italian sweet peppers, the sunset mix. I already showed the paprika. I must have gotten two of those. I want to try the uh, pizza my heart. I already got the, uh, yeah, I have the two of the Italian roasting peppers as well. Top is peppers. Okay, uh, Haas tools. I know I got more than this, but I don't, I guess they may be in with the tomatoes. But I got the sunburst squash, the moonbeam squash, and the Benning's green tint squash. I've never had any of these. I'm going to try them this year. And one that I haven't, uh, I did plant um, Roselle uh, from a swap and so far two of them have died but um then i heard that they really like a lot of heat so i uh i have a heater over there and it's they're doing much but the third one is doing much better now um for christmas my daughter-in-law to be heather um got me these seed, seed balls. I thought they were really neat. Um, it says it's an ancient technique for propagating plants that preserves and projects, protects seeds while they germinate and grow roots. Each ball is handmade with recycled materials, dandelion and purple clover. So each of these The seeds are in this. Isn't that cool? I think it's really neat. You can see the writing on some of the newspaper. 
but they're all wrapped up in here and they'll bloom. I think there's uh, three, dand three dandelion and two chives, right? Clover, I'm sorry, but they're really, I, I really liked these. They're, it's really neat and I can't wait to uh, plant those. Um, something else I wanted to share. <clears throat> Some of you may know that uh, last year I had found peppers, I mean, tomatoes that were, uh, well, I did find peppers and tomatoes that were, uh, but the tomatoes were uh, marked as pink and I found them in my dad's basement. I've, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Um, he had not gardened for over 10 years. He had gotten sick and um, he wasn't able to garden anymore. So, those tomato seeds were over 10 years old and they they did they made it and i uh had them in my garden my dad did pass and uh i had them in my garden last year and they they did really really well and they just like i said before it was like a hello from dad uh it was just really really heartwarming and very nice so there was one seed left and I decided to go ahead and plant it I did save the seeds from the others but this is the last original one from the basement where I found them and this year I learned from someone else that uh, I can put uh, the organza type uh, little bags uh, they'll still get sun but it'll keep it from any kind of danger of uh, cross pollinating with any of the other types of tomatoes that I am going to plant so I'll be sure to get this actual plant um, seeds uh, you just cover, you, you take it before the, uh, I'm sorry, my allergies are terrible. Um, when it starts to get a bloom, you put the organza over the blooms, uh, before they become blooms, um, that way the bees won't come and pollinate, take it back or, you know, back and forth and cross pollinate. So that'll be doing really, it's doing really well right now. In the meantime, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, doing cleanup in the uh, basement. I noticed that there were these peppers hanging from the wall. They are like um, petrified. I really don't have much hope in germinating any of them, but that would be great if they did. The peppers that I did find um, last year were bell peppers. They were, they were uh, uh, labeled as bell peppers. So they, none of them germinated. I was so happy that the tomatoes did. So, speaking of tomatoes, the tomato, tomatoes that I am growing this year, oh, I just almost dropped them, are my dad's pinks that I saved myself. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Ugh. 
Um, I got the giant Belgium tomato. I got the Rutgers. My dad used to grow these a lot. Uh, Jersey Devil. I did plant one of these last year. I believe I might have been a little bit too late because I only got one pepper on there before the fall. I uh, took the rest of the plant. This is the Ace 55, which were actually my dad's favorite tomatoes, so they'll always be in my garden. Um, I got black creme, and I just happened to hear, I think it was yesterday, um, that they are not like the red where they would cause inflammation. They're actually supposedly um, get rid of inflammation, which is great because the doctors have told me that I probably should not um, have any nightshades because of the arthritis and inflammation. But I just don't think I can do that. Right, you know, I'll just... take the pain and try to do something else to relieve the inflammation. Uh, but the black creme, I'm looking forward to trying. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, I have the Abe Lincoln. I've already planted all of these, so. And I'm gonna try Mr. Stripey. And I got Granny Cantrell's tomatoes. Uh, the New Yorker. I'm going to, I have never grown these either. The Vintage Wine. I just want to try uh, several uh, different types and then pick our favorites and then that's you know what I'll grow again next year my husband loves the uh, I like them too uh, cherry tomatoes so I'm going to try these this year I heard a lot of good things about these uh, Kellogg's breakfast I've never had those um, I already have a Mr. Stripey, I already have one of those. And then a Crimson Sprinter. And that was all in my gardener's uh, tomatoes. And I really, I really wanted that, uh, the one that he found uh, called a Giant Crimson, I believe. And, but I, I just can't catch it. Um, they're sold out and I just can't catch it. So, apparently I got another black creme from B Botanical Interests. Uh, Season Such sent me a tomato chocolate pear toma tomatoes <clears throat> just for order in their catalog. It was inside my catalog. I thought that was so nice. And then Haas Tools, of course, I have to, my name's Robin, so I'm going to try the Red Robin tomato. I believe I have another Abe Lincoln from M.I. Gardner and from Baker Creek. Um, I got the Spoon Tomato for free. I'm going to uh, probably put that on the deck. I actually ordered one, and then I got one for free. So this will probably be, I'm going to put it on the deck. I think that'll be cute. And I got uh, blue cream berries. They have the... It says blue, but um, that it looks purple. So we'll see. 
We'll find out. Uh, I got the Sun Gold Select 2. Um, I usually grow this, uh, the um, Sun Gold. Uh, but this happens to be an heirloom that I can actually save the seeds. It's for... Um, <clears throat> yes, it's heirloom seeds. Baker Creek, Air Baker Creek heirloom seeds, um, which is also known as rare seeds. And so I can actually save the seeds from these where the other sun gold that I had was not an heirloom. These are supposed to be sweeter. So my husband will probably love those. And I want to try a sweetheart cherry. Um, got a Jersey Devil from Baker Creek as well as in my gardener. Um, classic beef steak. Paul Robeson. And I'm very excited about Dr. White, white cheese. Or white cheese, white cheese. I've heard a lot of things. So many people say that it's so good. So I'm, I, I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm looking forward to trying all of these uh, new varieties that I've gotten. I think that's about it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do have a lot of onions started. Uh, this is my ginger, and if you can see, I picked it out from the grocery store, and it has little, it's starting to, there's another one right in there, and there, if you can see it. So that'll be fun. I think that's it. I showed you the petrified peppers. Um, I'm sure everybody can hear the uh, chicks. They're getting so big and I, I can't wait for them to get outside and have <laughs> They're fighting. Um, I can't wait for them to get outside and out of the house. They're getting so big, but it's been in the twenties. I don't, I, I'm not putting them out there while it's still in the twenties. They're, uh, I think they're about 12. They go from, uh, seven to ten weeks some of them are seven weeks some of, and then no i'm sorry nine weeks nine weeks uh are the oldest ones and seven are the youngest so i had ten of them and they're all they're they're very sweet Thank you for watching, everyone, and I believe I have way more peppers than started than what I, maybe I don't, but I'll check, and if I have more, pepper, more peppers, I will post it, and I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of flowers started, and I can't believe, I, I stuck up all the flowers in the freezer because I was unsure which ones needed to be, to have the cold in order to germinate. So I just stuck them all in there. And so far I'm getting good germination. Uh, I was surprised that I got the poppies to pop up this year because last year they did not. So I also have mustard, uh, mustard plants that I saved the seeds from. Uh, I have a lot of uh, brassicas that are already planted. Um, they're, they're pretty big. 
and I do have a few beans that, uh, you know what? I don't know what I did with. I have two sweet pea varieties that I planted and I meant to put them in this pile, but I don't know what happened to them. Anyway, they're, uh, um, I can't remember what they're named, but they, they're sweet peas, uh, that were recommended by, um, Roots and Refuge, and she makes tea with the flowers, and I thought that was really neat, so... I did order those and I planted them. I put, I planted a seed in the cups, but I'm just uh, wondering what I did with the rest of them. Okay, um, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon, bye-bye.